skill number 14, clean and trim the resident's fingernails. Okay, do your introduction, of course. Wash your hands, knock, knock, knock. Hello, I'm CNA Christine. Is it okay if I can come into your room? The resident says yes. Step right in. All right, good morning. Is it okay if I check your wristband before I get started? She says yes. Okay, Mrs. Jones. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Jones. I'm here to perform nail care for you. Is that okay if I can assist you with that? She says yes. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I actually have to leave the room to gather my supplies. So, here's your call light. If you need anything, hit your call light and I'll be right back, okay? There you go. Wash my hands, make that verbalization, leave the room to gather your supplies. So my supplies for this skill is going to be, of course, a protective barrier to set my supplies on. We're going to go ahead and have a regular sized towel. Lotion, soap, gloves, have some washcloth set aside, and my actual nail care utensil, which is orange stick. It's not actually orange, but this is what you use. Nail file, and the nail clippers. All right. Mr. Jones, just going to close your curtain for privacy. Make sure that the wheels are locked. Raise the bed to my working level, and then lower the side row on the side that I'm working on. So for the state test, I'm not quite sure if Mrs. Jones or whoever your um, resident or patient is going to be, if they're going to be sitting up in bed. I already pre-set um, her up. But in the case, um, if they're in a lying position, just go ahead and raise the head of the bed so they're in a sitting position, and they can rest their hands comfortably in the water basin. Oh, and my one last supply is this water basin. So, my curtain's all closed. I'm going to use this side table. So, if you've ever gotten your fingernails done, it's basically almost kind of like the setup. You have a towel here. You're going to soak your hands. Then you clean your hands and do your nails. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to move these controls out of the way. I'm just going to help expose your hand for me. Just scooch this table across you. Just go ahead and Verbalize, sanitize my hands, put on gloves. Make the verbalization. I'm going to get water and then have Mrs. Jones check the temperature. Mrs. Jones, can you check the temperature of the water to make sure that it's okay? She tests the water. She says it's fine. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Mrs. Jones, what I'm going to do first is soak your hand in soapy water just to clean it. Otherwise, add soap. Go ahead, Mrs. Jones, soak your hand. You can rest it in there for me. Verbalize, I let her hand soak for a minute. Set her sand, hand on the table. Set this aside. Bring this closer to her so she can rest her hand, of course. There you go. So for the state test, it's going to be a real life person, so it's going to be a lot easier. Since I only have a mannequin, it's kind of hard to have her stay in place. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab the orange stick. For your American Red Cross packet, they mention um, when you push back the cuticles, which you're going to be using the flatter end right here, it says to add a cotton tip around it. So for the state test, I'm not quite sure if they have that there. If they do, of course, you use it. If not, make that verbalization that I'll put cotton on here. The other scenario that you can do is use a washcloth to put, uh, push back the cuticle. If you choose to use the washcloth, just make sure you bring enough and you just basically grab that washcloth, put it on the flat end, and you're going to be pushing back the cuticle like this. So for me, I don't want waste to my, waste my washcloths, so I'm just going to make that verbalization. I have cotton on the end of the um, orange stick. You're going to grab Mrs. Jones's hand and you're going to verbalize pushing back the cuticles and you're going to wipe. Now this is a critical point. Don't go pushing back Mrs. Jones' cuticles and going to the next one. You're basically taking all the dirtiness and moving it to the next one. So you want to practice infection control. Push back the cuticles, wipe. 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 Now 
for the state test, because you're going to be performing this on a real person, do not really actually use this and push back the cuticles. Just go above it and just make that motion that you're doing it. So next, you're going to grab, turn the orange stick over and use this pointed end to clean under their fingernails. So clean under the fingernails, wipe, under the fingernails, wipe, under their fingernails, wipe, under their fingernails, wipe, under their fingernails, wipe. Okay, set this aside. Next, you're going to clip her fingernails. Open the nail clipper. Okay, so for this one, critical point, it's straight cut. Do not go the contour or the shape of the finger. It's just going to each nail straight cut, straight cut, straight cut, straight cut, straight cut. Okay, so remember, do not go cutting the nail the shape of how their finger is. It's just straight cut, straight cut, straight cut, straight cut, straight cut. You put this aside, and then you'll use the nail file to file those edges. So file the edges, file the edges, file the edges, file the edges, file the edges and you're done. So next, you'll go ahead and do a water change. Verbalize, dump out the water, get clean this, get fresh new water, change my gloves, sanitize my hands, have put on new gloves. Because you have to rinse Mrs. Jones's hand one more time. Okay, so Mrs. Jones, if I can have you test the water for me. Check the temperature if it's okay. How is that? She says it's fine. Okay, Miss Jones, just go ahead and soak your fingers and your hand one more time for me. Okay, thank you very much. Go ahead and rest your hand back on that towel. Grab this extra towel and use it to pat dry. Okay, now that you've done nail care on that hand, solid linen barrel, make a verbalization. I do the same thing that I did on this hand on the opposite hand okay so you don't have to demonstrate it on both hands as long as you do it good on one hand and make the verbalization you do the same thing on the other hand you've completed both hands so next what it says on your packet is to give mrs jones a hand massage so you get the lotion add it to your gloves make sure you warm it up give her a hand massage for about a minute or two promoting circulation circular motions Okay, Mrs. Jones, how was that? Is that okay? She says it's fine. So next, you'll go ahead and grab the next washcloth and you'll use the pat dry that extra lotion that's on her hands. Okay. So a linen barrel. So all that's left is to clean up your supplies. Even though you have extra, that's fine. It's better to have extra than not have enough. So for this one, the packet says to verbalize, put this in a designated dirty area or to put this with the patient residents belongings so mrs. Jones I'm just gonna go ahead and set this in your side table with the rest of your belongings okay and just make the verbalization going ahead to clean up my station soiled linen barrel soiled linen barrel clean and store the basin take off my gloves Mrs. Jones, throw this away. Mrs. Jones, if you can go ahead and rest your hand back on your bed for me. Thank you very much. Throw this away. And all that's left is your ending, of course. All right, Mrs. Jones, is there anything else I could do for you before I leave? She says no. All right, Mrs. Jones, here's your bed controls and your call light. If you need anything, hit your call light and I'll be right back. Did you want to stay in the sitting position? She says yes. Okay, well, here you go. State test. Make sure the bed is in the lowest position. Make sure the wheels are locked. I'll have one side roll up, one side roll down. Her side table with her belongings close by. Always go to the foot of the bed. Check alignment. Double check that the wheels are locked. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'll see you later, all right? And remember to hit your call light. So open the curtain, wash your hands, and document.